Maybe you've heard about the Great Awakening. Maybe this idea has been something that you've been seeing pop up everywhere. There's so many people talking about the Great Awakening happening right now on the planet. And in this video, I want to share with you exactly my perspective on it, plus what I think you may want to know about this that makes moving through these times so much easier and also makes you just more aware of the things going on behind the scenes. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people raise their vibration and expand their consciousness by making spirituality practical and relatable. Okay, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that's a little bit longer than normal, but hey, I'm switching things up a little bit, okay? <laughs> so, The Great Awakening is something that I've made a couple of videos on. I'm gonna go ahead and link some of those videos below. Um, a lot of people have been very interested in understanding more about this. I kind of took a leap into sharing this stuff because it's stuff I've been knowing about for a while. Now, when I say knowing about it, let me say this as well. I'm not special because I've um, looked into this for a while. The thing I encourage you to do is to do your own research and to know that this is something that's, I, I really believe this is one of the most empowering times to be alive ever than ever before on the planet. I really believe that. I believe that in the next 10 to 15 years on the planet, there'll be more transformation that happens than ever before. And a lot of this has to do with a lot of the things going on with the Great Awakening. Now the Great Awakening is where right now, there are millions and millions of people all around the planet that are waking up to more of who they are. They're waking up to understanding that reality that has been projected at them a certain way, whether that is with the media, with politics, with education system, all of these things that we've learned growing up, that we, a model for the way we've seen the world that we believed in, we're starting to learn that maybe there are things that aren't actually true, things that had a certain agenda. If we were to think a certain way, maybe then we're less, much more likely to just go with the flow and, and uh, be in that sense of, of a craving that authority. People are becoming aware of these things. They're starting to question also the things they may hear on the media. They're starting to think, hey, this doesn't resonate. This doesn't actually leak up. Now, let me say before I even get into this video, the one thing I encourage you to do is to do your own research on this and to understand that there'll be certain rabbit holes that maybe you go down and understand that it's very, very empowering the things that you can learn about reality and just the way things have gone, even with the things that have been hidden, understand that they're coming to light right now for a reason. And it's very beneficial because it's waking so many people up to understanding there's more in reality than what they priorly thought. So the Great Awakening, let me share with you my perspective of the Great Awakening and what you need to know. So first off, the vibration on the planet is raising more and more. It has been raising since for a long time, but what is happening is there's so much momentum with the vibration on the planet raising that what is happening is there are certain people on the planet, I know this is gonna sound kind of out there, but I promise you if you just do the research, you'll, you'll be able to see for yourself what you think about it, see what resonates. There are people on the planet that have known that if they were to retain the resources, if they were to keep people and to fear and anger, this right here is the scale of consciousness. It's from a book called Power Versus Force. And you got fear, anger, neutrality, acceptance, reasoning, love, joy, peace, enlightenment. These are the different levels of consciousness. Now, what I believe is known at different levels and different hidden levels of whatever we want to call this, they understand that if you keep people in anger and fear, it's like they got together with their homies and they said, yo, if we keep people in fear and anger, they are then in survival mode. They are much more likely to then look to authority for certainty and if they are in fear and anger, they're much more likely to, to not know their true power, to just remain on the hamster wheel. They're much easier to control. Now, the understanding of this goes from understanding that there are different factions at play. And let me say this as well. This is going to sound, I know kind of, I wasn't really open to this back in 2012. I went through my awakening. I started seeing some more of these things and some of these things called conspiracy theories. Now understand as well, the conspiracy theories, what I've learned since then is it has such a negative connotation and I'm not somebody that just believes everything I read. I promise you that I'm not I'm somebody that has discernment. I look for many different patterns, but there's sometimes certain patterns that you can see. But when it comes to conspiracy theories, understand that the CIA back in the day 
made the word conspiracy theory and gave it such a negative connotation and made publications about it, had journalists write about it in such a negative way that it has primed and conditioned us to not even like the term conspiracy theory. We literally hear it and it just completely turns us off. And that is exactly what was wanted at a certain level. What if we didn't want, what if they got with their homies, they're like, what if we don't want people to look into these things and to question the government? Well, let's create this, this little propaganda, this little campaign where we make this word, this phrase, and then to give it a negative connotation, then people don't even look or question their reality. So there's research that shows that the CIA which we think is this great, great thing has actually been infiltrated and working with Hollywood for a very long time. And by working with Hollywood, there's many things that have come out in movies. One of the things, one of the interesting things I find funny that they, they did is they made and helped, uh, helped pr like push getting the movie in the series James Bond out there. Because now when we think of Secret Service or CIA, we think of them as so cool, right? <laughs> it's like, we want to look cool to our friends and family. And, and then it gives it such a positive connotation. We're not gonna question James Bond, right? James Bond's just trying to save the world, trying to save the planet. But the more you look into these things, the more you see that there are some things that are kind of in the dark that were there for a reason. It, it's easier to keep people in control than it's easier to funnel the resources in different ways. And what I believe is happening is there's, there's certain elite people that have had the power for a long period of time and they may have been doing some very dark things as well. Now I know that sounds kind of out there, but if you were to do the research, what you might find is that the more we raise our vibration, the more we are in higher states of consciousness, just the more aware we become. What if those people got together and were like, hey, let's keep people in these lower vibes, they won't become aware, so let's do some things in the collective consciousness, we're all connected, that's something that has been shown many times, that's understanding of this collective consciousness. When one person gets an invention idea, many people all over the planet will get it at the same time. Also the 100 monthly monkey effect when it comes to, uh, you could study that as well. But in general, it's a certain intention to put and to have certain things orchestrated to keep people in that level of fear, in that level of anger. So. Uh, some of these elite people may be people that we've grown up watching. Some of them are very well-known celebrities. And they're a part of an agenda and they're part of a group where they believe that they're on this pedestal in, in a way kind of better than a lot of other people. And they see regular people, I think, as kind of like sheep. So they justify a lot of their actions, a lot of the darker things they do. Now, what is happening though is part of the Great Awakening is about that media, that power dynamic, of the elite controlling things, that is beginning to literally fall and fade away. People are starting to question their reality more than ever. People are looking at the media and going, you know what, something about that just really doesn't resonate. Or the way that they're saying this doesn't actually, doesn't actually resonate with me. I feel like there's something else actually going on. So part of the things behind the scenes going on has to do with the elite people that have controlled things for such a long period of time, maybe even orchestrated certain events to happening because then it puts people into a fearful state and then also opens people up to different things. People are starting to become more and more aware of this. And it's becoming very obvious. You know, when we talk about, you know, there's a lot of people now realizing that maybe the vaccines um, from like someone like Bill Gates, maybe that's not such a great thing. Maybe, uh, People, like, it, it, it's obvious too, if you were to go, like, I'm not, I'm just saying, if you were to go to, like, uh, go to, like, Bill Gates' newest, one of his newer posts on Instagram, th there's, like, s hundreds of thousands of comments of people saying, we don't want this, we don't want this. It's, it's incredible how many people are waking up to understanding that maybe there's more going on than what we are actually shown, you know? Um, I've been joking around on social media sometimes and I'll write like a poll and I'll be like yes or no and no is Bill Gates is an angel. <laughs> I just think it's a funny way of saying that maybe this isn't, uh, maybe question reality. Question maybe some people's intentions. Because if you look into that, maybe he has other agendas. Maybe he's also kind of uh, being controlled by a certain group of people or something like that. But the vaccinations that we think would be great, and think about it, what if there was something that was that happened, that then put people in a fearful state, that then could allow people to then say, you know what, we're open to these vaccinations. We want them because then we could feel safe going out, right? I, instead of being at my house, then if I wanna go travel, then I gotta do this thing. And that's being heavily pushed by someone like 
Bill Gates. No shame on him. He's an eternal spiritual being. He's just right now going through a period where um, he may be controlled is one, one aspect of it. The other aspect is he maybe just doesn't remember that we're all connected and that doing those kind of things puts out an insane amount of karma. <laughs> That could be part of it too, but the the if you and there's also there's also research that shows that many many hundreds of thousands of people that have taken those vaccinations in different countries, it has been completely harmful and uh, he's been completely banned from like India from different countries and stuff like that because of that. So there's a reason for that. Yet yeah, for some reason a lot of people push for wanting some uh, some software computer guy to that has connection it's it's if you follow the money you start to see a lot of different things let me just say that and i know i'm being kind of vague here because i know that a lot of people listening to this this is kind of out there information and i understand that i didn't share this on my youtube channel for a very long time because i know that's out a little bit more out there and i know that there may be a little bit of resistance to it but in general the main things that i think is important to know is um Understanding that old systems will fall away so that new systems can then be built. Now, the finances will be something, I think financial, the financial market here, I believe that uh, money hasn't been backed by gold since the 1980s. I believe that there will be some form of revamping of that. There may be old systems that fall apart. There's a, a thing, there's, the Great Awakening is also around this idea that I like to say where we came here we forget who we are when we come here so that we can then remember who we are. And part of that is if there's an illusion and there's fear and anger and there's a big distraction there, then people don't question who they are as much because they're too busy with the nine to five job and getting everything that they think they need to do done. And what's happening right now is people are going inwards, especially because a lot of people might be at their houses right now. People are going inwards and starting to ask new questions. They're starting to go down certain rabbit holes. They're starting to question things. And that's the thing that I really recommend here is questioning these things. Now, this is something that I first off read in books by called The Law of One. The Law of One, they're right here. These are books, uh, very powerful books, and there's five different books on it. These were from the 1980s, and it talks about how the time in the planet we're moving into is called the harvest. So the harvest is where we have an opportunity to move from one level of consciousness to a new level of consciousness. Now, this is something that has been happening on the planet for a while. However, now it is happening even quicker, even at a faster rate. Maybe you feel like time has been going by even quicker. Maybe you feel like things in a way happen faster, things you intend for, things you think about, you just start seeing reflections of that in your life even quicker. Part of that is because our vibrational level of consciousness is beginning to raise. We are moving from what is called third density into fourth density as according to the law of one. Now third density is the old ego structure of 3D, of, by that it means like the power dynamics. Think of the third 3D as like the solar plexus. Uh, a lot of it could be separation, individuality, control. That's been kind of what's happening on the planet behind the scenes for a long time and just in general. Now we're moving from that into the level of the fourth density which is connected to the heart, also the fourth chakra, which is more and more it's about connection, unconditional love, understanding who we really are. That's the era that we're moving into. Now, one of the prerequisites for this from the book, The Law of One, says to be a 51% or more service to others. Now, if we were to have some type of power dynamic, we're like, let's keep people in fear and anger, let's keep all the resources with me, then that is the opposite of that. It means that their vibration maybe not will raise as much or make this like leap in consciousness. However, the idea is when we realize that we're all connected, the question is then how can I add value to other people? Let me say it as well, if you're listening to this and I think that you're probably in this category as well, you can only perceive that which you're the vibration of. But let me also share with you that I believe this isn't about some ego thing where it's like I'm special because I know about the Great Awakening and nobody else. It's not about like I'm 51% to others so I'm special and significant. It's more of just realizing that everybody is at their own journey and we're all going back to what we could call source energy, understanding we're all connected. So the thing that I don't want people to think is that this is something that makes us more special than anything. Everyone is going through this at a certain level. I don't think anyone will be left behind. I think everyone has this opportunity to raise their vibration and to awaken. Everyone has the opportunity. Now, every, people might do it at different levels and different timings, but there doesn't need to be a fear here of like, will I make this, this shift or not? Or am I gonna leave my dog and grandma behind? <laughs> no, I don't think that's, I think it's more so, um, we chose to go through this process as a collective. 
And it may require forgiveness on our parts as well. Forgiveness of people that have maybe kept certain information from us. Forgiveness of people that are controlled that are doing very, very, very dark things. And it'll be hard. And some people might be very angry with some of the things that we find out has been going on behind the scenes. But the thing that I really want to uh, show here is that the best thing we can do is to raise our own vibration. Raise our own vibration. When we raise our vibration, that is when we start to, we start to do the inner work. If we want to change the outer world, we must first change the inner world. And I'll tell you as well, as you raise your vibration, things will manifest easier. You'll be more in your heart. The fourth density is at the level of love. Under that is like the, the is that of the reasoning, the mind, the intellect, the, the ego structure. And the idea is that when we get to that state of love or above, reality becomes magical. And it, that is possible. You can do that. You can raise your vibration. You, even if you've gone through a lot of painful past, even if you've never meditated before, you can raise your vibration. And one way you can do that if you want to know where your vibration currently is, you can go to whatsmyvibration.com, click on the link in the description box below, calibrate your vibration there to find out. However, the other thing that I recommend you do is to Watch the Great Awakening series. I have a playlist on it. I'll go ahead and link it right here. Check it out. Let this information seek, let, see if it resonates with you and then also do your own research. So this is something that I think is happening. I think it's the most powerful, important time to live here, to be here on the planet and I'm super excited to be here with you. Subscribe if you haven't already. i got a lot more videos coming out for you and I'm excited to share them with you. And as always, peace, much love, and namaste.